Hello dogs, I'm Sayla and we're recording live from Sikkim Studios, bringing you Owen and Otwell News Network. And I'm Kylie, and we hope that everyone is having a great Bulldog Day. It's Friday, the last day before Thanksgiving break, and guess what? It's also Native American Heritage Month. Really, Sayla? What's it about? Can you tell me more? Sure thing, Kylie. Native American Heritage Month is all about preserving and respecting the contributions that Native Americans did throughout history. Did you know that the U.S. government and Native Americans actually go back to the French and Indian War? Wow, that's so cool! I remember the Native Americans fought in the French and Indian War for my social studies class. But what happened after that? Well, Kylie, before we get too deep into this history lesson, <laughs> we'll, um, let, here's a quick video that will provide some great information about Native American Heritage Month. Let's take a look. November marks an important time of year for indigenous people, Native American Heritage Month. All month long, we celebrate and honor the first peoples of these lands that we now call the United States. This moment isn't just for indigenous people to celebrate our history, culture, and traditions. It's also a time to educate others about our tribal nations and to recognize all that we've accomplished and contributed to society, and that we are still here. Who exactly is considered indigenous? And what are the terms used for the different groups from various regions? And when did this yearly cultural celebration become official? Ayuki, hello. I'm Kiara Sotile. And I'm Alyssa Yakidi London, Klinget Ayakut. I'm proud to be Karuk. I am a member of the Klinket tribe of Alaska. We're going to break it all down for you in this episode of Understanding Native American Heritage. Our Native American heritage has always been something to celebrate, but when was it officially recognized on the calendar? To answer that, we have to go back to the early 1900s. In 1914, Red Fox James, a Blackfoot Native American, rode on horseback across America, rallying state governments to approve an official day to honor Native Americans. A year later, with support from 24 states, he presented his proposal at the White House, but there's no record that anything came of it. Then, one year later, the state of New York declared the first recorded American Indian Day in May 1916. But it wasn't until 1990 that President George H.W. Bush officially made it a month. Now let's talk about who are indigenous people. Some prefer the term Native American, others use American Indians, other identifiers are location specific, like Alaska Natives, which refers to indigenous people of Alaska, or First Nations, the First Peoples in Canada. Many indigenous people like to identify by their tribal affiliations, like Navajo Nation or Diné people, Karuk, Puyallup, Tlingit, or Seminole. And since there are 574 federally recognized tribes across the country and 229 in Alaska alone, and even more seeking federal recognition, the best thing to do is ask how we choose to identify. I prefer to identify as Alaska Native and Klinget. I go by Karuk, but to me, American Indian and Native American are also interchangeable. Some people might imagine we all live on reservations, but actually only about 22% of Native Americans actually live on reservations. The other 78% of us live all over the country and the world. We've been a part of the fabric of this land for so long before it was ever called the United States, and we continue to make our mark today. Last year, Secretary Deb Holland became the first Native American cabinet secretary. She later swore in the first Native American director of the national parks, Charles F. Sams III. The historic first continued this year. Representative Mary Poltola became the first Alaska Native elected to the U.S. House. Mohegan Chief Marilyn Malerba, the first Native American to serve as treasurer of the United States. And just last month, astronaut Nicole Mann, the first Native American woman to go to space. So what does all of this tell us? Indigenous heritage is ingrained in the very land we stand on, and our influence is felt across every part of this country. From our sacred traditions to our distinct tribal nations and languages, there's space to celebrate and honor what it means to be indigenous, what it means to be Native American, and what it means to be American Indian, Alaska Native, First Nations, and many others. What a great video, Sayla. Native Americans are a big part of America, and they should be celebrated. I agree 100%, Kali. And speaking of celebrations here at, here at O&N, we hope that everyone's 
that has a great Thanksgiving break. And stay tuned because right after this episode, we'll be getting we'll do a Thanksgiving dance party. Well, have a great day, Bulldog. All oh, Bulldogs, and remember, we are the one and only Owen and Otwell News Network. <laughs> It's a Thanksgiving freeze dance. Dance when the music plays. Freeze when you see the angry fox. Be ready for mini games. Have fun. supposed to be my time of the year, not yours. Hmm. I've placed a pumpkin pie in one of these two platters. Do you think it's in platter one or platter two? Copy the pose to make your pick. You better eat it before I do. <laughs> stolen the golden pumpkin and hidden it in the picture. Can you find it? Congratulations. I'll see you again soon. <laughs> What's he doing here? It's not Christmas time yet. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Woo! Catch him! the snow. Let me dance too. That was fun. Come back soon for more games. Thanks for playing.